Uh, same with Garth Brooks. Oh. You watch Garth's documentary, his docuseries going on right now? Did you watch it? I watched episode and a half because if you, I don't know if you know our friend of the show, Tom Segura, does a huge chunk on Garth Brooks all the time on his podcast. Well, uh... Garth is amazing. Mm. Yeah. He... He's all in his. Did you watch that documentary thing? Oh, yeah. I tried. He's always on the verge of tears, and I'm trying to figure it out. I just don't know how each confessional that he does in that docuseries, it gets deeper somehow. Like, so whatever. dramatic. Like, I'm like, man, you got to be exhausted because every word that comes out is so calculated and it, it, so passionate and deep. And I'm like, geez, man, how, is, how are you not just asleep at all times? My dad. <laughs> My dad told me the fire doesn't start unless there's a little bit of wood. <laughs> <laughs> and I think to find that wood, sometimes you got to go into the forest of life. And if you want to find that fire, you got to find that fucking tree that burns the best. And that is. <laughs> I'm trying to get that wood. <laughs> <laughs> that is what the, the conf every single one, every single one is deeper than the one before it. And then whenever they show the clips of him, like trying to set up the live show and everything. I'm like, okay, this guy, this is his talent here. His live shows, I guess, are just remarkable. I've never been, but watching them train for it and him, gave, he gave a speech to his team and things like that. I'm like, okay, now we're watching a genius work here. Like this is what he's known for having a great live show. He sold out our arena, I think 45 times in one weekend here in Indianapolis. I mean, the guy sells out stadiums. I mean, he is a incredible performer, but that docu-series I could not get through it just because of those fucking confessionals. I was like, oh my God, how do you live in this? It was, everything was like the most dramatic mode. Every single line was like the more dramatic than the one before that. And I was like, okay, I get it. This is how you roll. And I, I respect that a lot about, but it's just, I can't do it, Garth. I, I cannot do it. But then you, you realize why Chris Gaines happened because, you know, every single dr dramatic <laughs> turn. Hey, is there more episodes? I, I think I saw the first two. I watched the first one. I'll never watch it again. I just like, I, no, I started watching because I want to see if he talks about being Chris Gaines. That's the only reason I even turned it on. That's smart. Does he not address Chris Gaines because that's just a different human and that's not who he is? I, my mom. I'm not doing it. I literally, <laughs> every single thing was so deep. I should tell Jordy. Remember, remember Jordy when he came on the show? Big Garth Brooks fan. We, we mentioned Chris Gaines. Jordy was unaware of Chris Gaines. So... If I got to text Jordy after this to see if he Googled Chris Gaines because he may want to try to protect his heart and not find out about Chris Gaines. <laughs> I hope for the love of everything that they were filming the behind the scenes of Garth Brooks trying to create Chris Gaines. Just with those confessional shots about if you rebirth yourself as an emo child, how will you look at the world? And that is what I'm doing. Mom said, oh, my God, this can't do it. <laughs> Chris Angel. Did Chris Angel copy this? I think Chris Angel was trying to look like Chris Gaines, yes. But yeah. Garth Brooks, incredible performer. He's a very, He gave, like, millions of dollars to the local children's hospital here. He does a lot of with Garth's friends or whatever, Garth Brooks' friends foundation. Everybody in the NFL has a link to. Not me, but everybody in our locker room went and did dinner <laughs> with him or something like that. But I... Watching that docuseries was difficult because of how profound every single word was. And it was like, he was just getting deeper and deeper and deeper. And I'm like, this is not for me, dog. I am way too shallow of a human to be here. And you know, one of my favorite things, Pat, that like Garth must have just supreme confidence in himself and what he's doing when he would, he's driving his truck through his 7 billion acres somewhere in, is it Tennessee? I think. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, Tennessee. He's from Oklahoma, I guess. Well, but he moved to Tennessee like, twice. You know, he moved first time. He, uh, oh. But he was like, he's driving his truck all dramatic up. And we're going up to the point. He's like, a lot of songs been written up here. A lot of thinking. And then he makes a fire. And it's basically like a, it looks like a park with a little building with some picnic tables. He puts his feet up by the fire. And he just kind of just looks around at the surroundings. And I'm like, I understand the film crew. Like, I've been in situations where they'll ask, like, hey, this, could, this would be cool for, like, B-roll. So just act natural and look around. Like, Garth was all in. Like, he probably wanted to do more takes of those that B-roll of him just pondering life 
in the questions he has. Well, the speech that he gave at that fire while he was sitting by himself was about not being in an island away from people. <laughs> I mean, it just didn't. I like the speech that he gave. He was like, hey, I like being a part of a family and a team and watching other people kind of succeed with you because why are you doing it if not the case? Don't put yourself on an island. Don't play by yourself. He was literally sitting on an island at the time while he was saying that. And I think that might have been the part of the show where I was like, I can't fucking do it anymore. I'm sorry, Garth. I'll go to a show. I will watch you perform your ass off because everybody says you're a great showman and watching you break down the show for sure. But I cannot take another deep dive into Chris Gaines' brain, which I think is where we're headed every time Garth starts speaking around that fire pit. I just think Chris Gaines needs to make a comeback Bro, post-COVID. How about when he was sitting like this? For the confessional at one point he was leaning over and he was doing this so like, bizarre everything he does is so <laughs> bizarre. Do it. i just couldn't do it because i i don't know anything about this guy I don't how do you take your could you take yourself seriously like, that's what i always i would try to put myself in those shoes i'm like all right when you do certain things like oh man my brother's my dad's gonna kill me for this like they, <laughs> if they see you doing something that's not authentic to who you are obviously that's authentic to who garth is but i don't know if i i just couldn't hey. i couldn't stay in character Look good, feel good, feel good, play good. Play good, pay good, pay good, live good, live good, die good.